Right. You know, I'm content with my life. Like, I want, I love you, but I don't want cats. And for me, that's just not. I, I want cats. Where are you from originally? St. Paul, Minnesota. Okay, cool. Right on, right on. So, well, what was so funny is like, and we see each other. So, like, we had dinner. Like, when Prince died, he's like, how long were you going to mourn Prince? I'm like, I am from Minnesota. Yeah, really. I think I'm going to put that together in your head, babe. <laughs> your expiration date, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Does he have any kids? It, you know, I understand the whole, you know, uh, you know, still got a little gas in the tank, bachelor, still got some game to you. Whereas, well, unfortunately, I'm not married. I'm not married. I've been married. I was married for 10 years. And uh, I'm fortunate that I'm 51. I still look like this and still operate the way I look. But I'm also understanding, look, dude, doesn't matter that you look like you're whatever, 30, 40, whatever. You're not. So you don't have that much time. So you have to understand that, you know, your player days, they have an end. My father had, I think he had a kid my age, 
I you want to enjoy fun. your kids. But you want to be able to enjoy them. Exactly. Be, be able to old. physically run around and have yeah, fun with the kids. Exactly. You want to enjoy them. You want to be able to, like, you know, throw a ball or, right. you know, whatever it is, you want to enjoy them. You don't want to be like this old grandpa, like, oh, yeah, that's my dad in the wheelchair. Right. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. radio show 98.7 all 90 was the witty show and I do a segment called shrink tank where I give advice because I used to be a therapist and I say this never underestimate how sexy your man thinks you are okay no 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 listen never underestimate that that he thinks you're sexy okay everyone gets old but everyone doesn't have to get fat so the moment you stop caring about your body so will he if you want your man to stay on top of you then you need to stay on top of it because when you let it go, he'll let it go. When I was married, my wife let herself go. I still liked her. Yeah, see, I still liked her. We still had a great time, but I was sexually uninterested in her. So we did everything else the same, except we stopped having sex. And that started driving her crazy. I can't make myself be attracted to someone who I'm not attracted to anymore. No, I can Missing it. I said 
everything else was the same. The fun, the laughter, the camaraderie, the compassion was there. Yeah. What was missing was the sex. Sexual. I didn't decide to leave her because she got fat. I just stopped having sex with her. Are you guys still cool? Oh yeah, we're still cool. I mean, yeah, because, I mean, really, and here's the thing. You know, we went through the whole thing, her working out, blah, blah, I said, look, you know what? Here's the problem. Sexually attractive to speaking is... Yeah, I'm, we were, I've always... I would have been so insulted. I'm yeah. sorry. I would have been like, what? You, you can be insulted, but the truth is the truth. Okay, because I, she, I, she told me, I asked, you know, asked her, you know, how do we get together, Bob? She says, I always wanted to date a guy, a muscle man, a guy with muscles that was intelligent. And, okay, cool. So, sexually speaking, or physically, you were into the way I looked. Okay, now there were guys who didn't look the way I looked, and I know they should her. She wasn't interested. You're interested in what you're interested in. You don't get to choose and change that. You can love anything, but you're turned on by what you're turned on by. And so, I still loved her. We still had a great time together. The, the sexual attraction was gone, and that's only because she had gotten beyond a certain limit. You know, because it wasn't like, oh, you gained five pounds. No, she gained 50. Okay, so, you know, and she was, and here's the thing. She was fighting a battle against weight that she was always going to fight. And I didn't know that, and she didn't know that. And the thing is, there's plenty of guys that like big girls out there. So I'm the wrong guy. Right. You need a guy who's dealt with that. And that's I think it happens. I've dealt with weight issues my whole life. I have two ways. Either I'm extremely curvy or I'm, like, anorexic skinny. Like, that's it. And, so, and I always tell people, find a middle ground. And more, and more important than find a middle ground is find somebody that digs you the way you are at your worst not your best don't try to be your best because yeah. nobody maintains your best and like i just said look you get all no, i'm single so i mean you know that's cool it's so weird uh -huh. so like i went on a day like the other you know oh wow well, cool a real day and the guy was like are you like can i come over and like, yeah and i felt so weird i'm like this is more like me and my husband <laughs> yeah exactly well exactly and, and It's one of the things I tell people is, look, when people break up, the thing that you would understand, they forget about is this, look, being naked is that, it's it's not just physically naked, it's emotionally it's naked, mentally, it's yeah. mentally, and you're used to accustoming it, this is why people who get divorced or break up end up still sleeping together six, eight months after the breakup, after right. because it's a while before you get comfortable with someone else, with someone else. and that's why it's to take your time, you're like, you're like, damn, I really, look, I want to have sex, but... The, the desire to have sex is not the same as when you get there and say, I don't know this dude. Yeah. I don't know him. I don't know his body. He don't know my body. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, like, I told my husband, I was like, oh, it's a weird day. Like, what are you dating? Yeah. He's like, well, I, you know, I For see Guys, not so much. Look, he he just, you guys ain't so much. Yeah, I'm still fucking don't matter to me. Yeah. I'm like, wow, I can't <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, well, it's so weird. It's right. It's like. Look at you say our age. And then 
Like it hasn't made a difference. Getting older hasn't made the made the difference. It's your mindset. It is. It, it really is your mindset. So I, you know. So I'm totally gonna look at your YouTube channel. Okay, cool. All I have is IG and I have Facebook, but it's for my parents. Question: Would you like to be on the channel? Because I record all my rides. I would. Yeah, I know. I see you. Okay, cool. I just I always ask because of but people. But like, I don't look good. Like I'm all sweetheart. Over, so. Everyone always say women always telling me that. Let me tell you something. You look fine. Well, you ain't nothing wrong with you. <laughs> that doesn't come across in the camera. <laughs> okay, well, yes, I will okay. be on And what's your show. name again? Andrea. I'm, well, sorry. I'm Frank. It's a pleasure. Hey, and anytime you want to talk, feel free. What is IG? Instagram. Oh, okay. I'm just making sure I'm old. <laughs> you gotta DM me, and Pardon, I'll talk. So what's your, okay, so hold the on. Instagram is B-I-G. Hold on. B. Oh, B-I-G. Hold on. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Just put it in yourself. Okay, let's see. Because someone just tried to like A message me. Like, N K L A. And I'm Dre Kill. That's me right there. So just go add. And follow. follow. Yeah. Okay. And follow. Yeah. yeah. And uh, anytime, DM me if you want to talk about anything to it. Because this is yeah, what I no, do. Yeah, I'm a divorcee at 26. So. <laughs> Definitely. We'll talk Thank again. It was my pleasure meeting you. Bye bye.